paper titled, titled PIPC, a practical IPC gateway on embedded APUs. This is joint work with Wu Gunjong, Kang Wonjo, Ilguri, and my advisor, Jae Jin Lee. Internet protocol is not secure itself. IPSEC is a protocol suite for securing the IP traffic using cryptographic, cryptographic methods. IPSEC has widely used to secure application using the internet, such as email and web-based application and VPN tunnels. This is an example of IPSEC. Three hosts are connected to IPSEC gateway one, one and two hosts are connected to IPSEC gateway 2. When host 1 sends an IP packet to host 5, the IPSEC gateway 1 encrypts the incoming packet and transfers the encrypted packet to IPSEC gateway 2. The IPSEC gateway 2 decrypts the encrypted packet and transfer to the host five. The IPsec gateways can set up a secure channel between two different networks. Since IPsec is based on compute intensive crypto algorithm, so IPsec, IPsec Processing requires high requires higher higher performance to achieve real time packet processing as network traffic increases. If the performance of of the IPC gateway is not enough, the IPC gateway becomes a performance. performance bottleneck of the network. For example, the IPsec processing performance of IPsec gateway is 5 gigabps, and the network traffic is 10 gigabps. The network cannot achieve, cannot achieve real-time packet processing. In this case, IPsec acceleration is needed to achieve, to achieve real-time packet processing. So, some network systems have used this special purpose hardware unit, such as AGICs, FPGAs, and network processors to accelerate accelerate network packet processing. They can achieve high performance. However, they are expensive, low flexibility, and low programmability. The other hand, software-based IPsec solution provides cost-effective cost -effective packet, uh, cost-effective packet processing by using commodity uh, general purpose processors. Uh, and they provide high flexibility and high programmability. However, it is suffered from its low performance compared to the hardware-based solutions. Our, our course, uh, our course 
provide high flexibility, high programmability, and high performance for IPsec processing. GPGPU is an effective solution to achieve high performance. What are GPUs? GPU is graphics processing unit. It is the processor in computer graphics card. Originally, it is used for 3D graphic rendering in real time. GPU processes billions of polygons and billions of pixels using its massively parallel architecture in real time. Nowadays, GPU is, is not only used for uh, real time 3D graphic rendering, but also used for general purpose computation. It is GP GPUs. Commonly, GPU is inserted in PCI Express slot. This type of GPUs is called discrete GPUs. Each of the CPU and the GPU has a separate, separate, separate memory, and the, and the memories are connected via PCI Express. So, GPGPU on the discrete GPU has significant data transfer and coherence consistency, consistency management, management overhead between the CPU and the GPU. The heterogeneous multi-core processors integrate the CPU and the GPU in a single chip. Recently, many processor, many processor vendors have released heterogeneous multi-core processor, such as Intel Skyrake, Skyrake processors and AMD's APUs. AMD's APUs support a HSA, heterogeneous system architecture. HSA provides a unified, coherent, coherent, coherent memory between CPU and the, and the GPU. It allows coherent data sharing across all the processors in the chip. So our IPsec gateway is, is implemented using the APU. We present a high performance IPsec gateway called PIPC. It, it uses a low cost to commodity embedded APUs. Its cost is about 50 US, US dollars. It has two or four CPU cores and eight GPU cores. Uh, it supports HSA. We implement PIPC using TPDK and OpenCL. We also propose an IPsec package scheduling algorithm to fully utilize uh, GPU architecture. This block shows the organization of PIPC. There are two threads in PIPC, packet IO thread and IPsec thread. Packet IO thread performs packet IO using TPDK for fast packet IO because the Linux, Linux kernel the network stack is too inefficient. And IPsec thread, IPsec thread performs IPsec processing on the GPU. To do that, 
IPsec protocols is implemented in OpenCL. <coughs> this slide simply shows the flow of, of our IPsec processing. Classification step performs identifying incoming packet, incoming packet for IPsec and looking up security, security association database and security policy database to get cipher or authentication key and security association. Crypto step performs encrypting and decrypting the packets using appropriate crypto algorithms. Packet editing step performs modifying <coughs> the, the, the packets for IPsec encapsulation and decapsulation. CPU processes incoming packets sequentially. Crypto step is a computer intensive task because of the algorithm for cipher and authentication. So, so we, we, we offload the compute intensive task to the GPU to achieve high performance using the basically parallelism of GPU architecture. GPU processes multiple incoming packet in parallel. In more detail, GPU has a lot of ALUs. In PIPC, each ALU processes a single packet. So GPU can process a chunk of, chunk of multiple packets in parallel. <clears throat> now we describe the GPU architecture in more detail. GPU consists of multiple compute units. Each compute unit has multiple ALUs. A GPU thread executed on an ALU is called work item, and a group of work items executed on the same CU is called work group. ALUs in a, a CU executed in a SIMD manner in the GPU processing. However, crypto algorithm and length of each packet is different. It causes a significant performance degradation because of the problem called control flow divergence. WAP is a, WAP is a set of work items in a single work group. It, it executes in a SIMD manner. The control flow divergence occurs when some work item in a WAP take a different path. For example, there is a branch instruction like if some instructions in a WAP take path one and the other instructions take path two. In the GPU processing, the instructions in path one and the instructions path two are executed sequentially. It can significantly degrade the GPU utilization. To address the low GPU utilization problem, we propose a packet scheduling algorithm. The packet scheduling algorithm works well not only with APUs, but also with discrete GPUs. Here is an example of our packet scheduling algorithm. There are empty packets and a leftover queue. All the pins are empty and not labeled yet. The leftover queue has some packets that could not be scheduled in the previous turn. Uh, the rounded box represents a packet a uh, different color in a packet indicate uh, different crypto algorithms, uh, such as ASCBC encapsulation, HMAX Shawan encapsulation, and so on. The 
number in a package show its ranks. A label of a pin has information of uh, the package in the pin. The informations are crypto algorithm and packet length range. Uh, the size of packet length range uh, is a tuning parameter of PIPC. In this example, the size of the length range is 256. The packet scheduling algorithm categorize the packets into the pin by their crypto algorithm and length. It categorizes the packet in the left of Q first and then moves on to the incoming packet. A packet such as four pin labeled with the packets uh, crypto algorithm and length range. First, a packet in the leftover queue searches for a bin, but all bins are empty, so it is inserted into a empty bin and labels with its algorithm and length range. Its algorithm is led and length range is from zero to 255. Next, the first incoming packet searches for a bin, but there is no appropriate pin, and it is inserted in another empty pin and labels for it. Next incoming package algorithm is led, and its length is 129, so it can be inserted in the first bin. In the same way, the incoming packets are inserted into the appropriate pins, but there is no appropriate pin and no empty pin available for the packet with purple and 300 of packet lengths. In this case, the packet is inserted to the left over queue and it will, schedule, it will be scheduled in the next turn. Then the next incoming packet is inserted to the appropriate pin and the last incoming packet in this example is inserted uh, to left turbo queue because there is no appropriate pin and there is no empty bin available. As a result, each bin is filled with the packet of the same algorithm and the same length range. And then, the packet scheduling algorithm uh, sorts the pin in a decreasing order by their estimated GPU processing time to help the GPU hardware scheduler. It is similar to the longest processing time first algorithm. It gives a near optimal scheduling solution to achieve the minimum processing time. As a result of our packet scheduling algorithm, each bin is filled with the packet of the same crypto algorithm and the same length range. In addition, bins are sorted in a decreasing order by their estimated the GPU processing time. Each bin is executed on a CU in the GPU as a workgroup. Each packet in the bin is executed on, on ALU as a work item. The GPU hardware scheduler takes the workgroups one by one on the CU. Here are effects of our packet scheduling algorithm. First, avoid the control flow divergence by grouping incoming packet on the same crypto algorithm into a work group together. Second, avoid intra work group load imbalance by grouping incoming packet of uh, packets of similar lengths into a same work group. Third, avoid inter work group load imbalance by sorting pins in a decreasing order of their estimated GPU processing time. Most of previous packet 
packet processing studies with discrete GPUs have made an effort to reduce data copy overhead between the CPU and the GPU, but it is not a, not a concern anymore for us because of the HSA supported by the APU. In HSA, the CPU and the GPU physically share the coherent main memory. So it, so we uh, exploit HSA to avoid data copy overhead between the CPU and the GPU. PIPC uses two set of two set of bins, weight and active. Using this, using this, we implement an efficient double buffering mechanism to overlap the computation on the GPU and the packet classification on the CPU. Assume that packet IO is fast enough, the GPU execution time determines the performance of IPC gateway. So we optimize the GPU code as much as possible, considering important performance factor of GPUs, such as global memory access coalescing, control flow divergence, occupancy, vectorized access to global memory, and exploiting the local memory. Now, I'm going to present our evaluation method and results. This table shows uh, the summary of the specification of the system for evaluation. PIPC is built with an x86, x86 6 based AMD embedded APU processor, 60 gigabytes of RAM, and one Intel network interface card with four 10 giga Ethernet port. Since PIPC can learn also on discrete GPU, as long as the discrete GPUs support the HSA. We run PIPC on two types of discrete GPU, professional high-end discrete GPU, AMD, Fire Pro, and gaming discrete GPU, AMD, Radeon. We implement a DPDK, based packet generator to, to evaluate PIPC. Its role is the source and sync of the packets. It produces up to 40 giga BPS network traffic that contains packets with various type of lengths and various source and destination IP addresses. IMIX is internet packet mix. It resembles the real world to packet traffic in the distribution of packet lengths and it is defined by Intel. The crypto algorithm of each packet is determined by its source and destination IP addresses by exploiting this feature we evaluate PIPC with packet that require randomly mixed crypto algorithm for IPsec processing. Uh, we implement some of the most widely used IPsec protocol in OpenCL kernel. We implement ACCBC encapsulation and decapsulation and DHMPEG SHA-1 in OpenCL kernel. There are some tuning parameter for, for PIPC. First tuning parameter is the number of pins and pin size. Chunk size is the number of packets that are processed by uploading them to GPU, GPU at a time. Chunk size affects the, the packet laundry latency and the throughput. Large chunk size is, is good for throughput, but it may have long latency. We choose 4,096 uh, of chunk size and 64 pins for the evaluation. 
Second tuning, second tuning, tuning parameter is granularity of packet length range for packet scheduling algorithm. Fine-grained packet length range reduces uh, of the load imbalance and control flow divergence. However, fine grain length range increases the number of packets to go to the left over Q. So we choose 255, 256. This graph shows the effects of the proposed packet scheduling algorithm. The crypto algorithms of the incoming packets are randomly mixed of six crypto algorithms. ACCBC encapsulation, decapsulation, HMX Shawan encapsulation, decapsulation, ACCBC plus HMX Shawan encapsulation, decapsulation. Blue bar is no packet scheduling. Purple bar is fully applying the proposed scheduling algorithm, including bin sorting. For small packet, the packet scheduling effect is not significant because load imbalance, load imbalance due to different algorithm is not significant. However, the packet scheduling effect for large packet is significant. The proposed packet scheduling algorithm improves the throughput by 2.3 times for the large packet, and it improves the throughput by about two times for random and IMX packet also. The Bin sorting optimization improves throughput by about 2.2 times for random and IMX packets. This graph shows throughput of different crypto algorithms. The throughput of ACCBC plus HMX SHA-1 encapsulation is 3 gigabps for small packets and 11 gigabps for large packets, respectively. Uh, in all case, the larger the packet, the, the higher the throughput. This is because of the GPU offloading overhead. The portion of the GPU offloading overhead in GPU processing time is relatively large for small packets. For IMX packet, the throughput of Mixed algorithm is 10 gigabps, and the highest throughput is achieved 26 gigabps with HMX Shawan decapsulation. This graph shows average, average latency of different crypto algorithms. As the packet length increases, the average latency also increases because the GPU processing time increases as the packet length increases. Uh, um, the average latency of PIPC range from one millisecond to five milliseconds. The average latency for IMX packet with random mixed crypto algorithm about 2.7 milliseconds. This graph shows the throughput of the APU and two types of uh, discrete GPU for the random mix algorithm. Since computing power of each discrete GPU is much higher than APU, the throughput of the discrete GPU are also much higher than that of APU. The throughput with dual AMD Radeon Align Nano GPU is up to 65, 65 gigabps. The result indicate that uh, PIPC performs well not only for the APU but also for the discrete GPU. However, the cost effectiveness of discrete GPU is much lower than the data of APU. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. 
this table shows the cost effectiveness of uh, various IPsec solutions. The cost effectiveness of PIPC with APU is much higher than any other existing solution. The energy efficiency of PIPC is also good because the power consumption of the APU is only 35 watts. There are some related work to accelerate the packet processing performance using GPUs. In conclusion, we present the design and implementation of high-performance IPC gateway PIPC. It uses a HSA-enabled APU and is implemented using TPDK and OpenCL. We exploit HSA to avoid data copy overhead between the CPU and the GPU. IPsec protocols are implemented in OpenCL to upload IPsec processing on the on-chip on chip <coughs> GPU. We also propose a package scheduling algorithm that fully exploits a common GPU architecture and improves GPU utilization significantly. PIPC achieves a throughput of 11 giga PPS using a low-cost commodity embedded APU. The cost effectiveness of PIPC is much higher than any other existing solutions. Thank you for listening. So thanks for the talk. So we have very little time, but if there's one short question, I'm happy to hear it. So if there's no short question, then we just...